Welcome back to the Nerd Rotic channel, everybody. This is a real quick update on Save the Expanse. Uh, all plans are in place for Wednesday night tweeting. Uh, I just got home from work and, oh crap, I'm wearing my work shirt so that everybody knows where I work. I don't care. Um, I wanted to give a quick update on what has uh, transpired over the last 24 hours. I wasn't able to check in, obviously, because I was at work. Uh, and on the way home, I took I listened to the Cass Anvar video, uh, which was very enlightening, I thought. Um, but first, I want to show off uh, something that no, whatever happens with the expanse, this is freaking amazing this is so goddamn cool so i'm gonna go to the uh, everything expanse facebook book group which i recommend everybody go to if you uh want to save the show they're really great with the updates it's run by great people and uh, there's a lot of love in there but yeah this save the expanse banner that they flew over amazon today and they rallied up like six grand in what 24 hours to do this holy crap that is cool that has to be that has to make an impression so uh, one of the updates was a little post I saw on um, the group. It wasn't Jim Murray. I can't remember who it was, uh, but I believe it was somebody involved in the show in some way. And uh, they said something kind of cryptic. They said, um, you know, there's the rumors of the Amazon meetings, but uh, they said that there really wasn't any time to do any pros and cons for the show. They couldn't have any real business meetings like this has to happen I, they made it sound like it has to happen within the next uh, 48 to 72 hours. Um, and th th pretty much the decision has to come from the the top, from Jeff Bezos himself, if it's if it's going to be Amazon. I don't know if that has changed. Please forgive me. If there's something you guys know that I don't, please put it in the comments. I'll pin it. Um, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm a huge fan of The Expanse. I want to save the show. I want to do my part. I've got a little bit of a reach here and it's gotten much bigger. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome. Uh, we do everything live here, even uh, 10 minute update videos. Uh, chat, I'll get to you in just the second. Um, I also want to talk about the Cass Anvar video. He, what he talked about, basically, he repeated stuff that has been out there. Um, part of the Alcon, uh, Alcon is the group that uh, uh, owns The Expanse, owns the IP. Part of uh, what the contract was with sci-fi was heavily based on uh, live viewings, uh, you know, watching it live and and not DVRing it and watching it later or streaming it. That doesn't really help. You need to watch it live. So we kind of knew that already. But what what was weird is like the actors didn't know that, and uh, I don't expect the actors to know it. You think that um, if it was so important and the things were on the bubble and the bloodbath that we've seen in television in the last uh, forty eight hours, um, you think more of the, you know people from sci-fi would try to make some of the actors aware especially the ones who are active on social media uh, i know ash versus evil dead actors were aware and they did their part um so uh yeah that was kind of that was crazy to to hear that and a little disappointing and i i've you know sci-fi has not promoted this show doomcock mentioned it in a video that you know, even with his reach he was turning on people of the show who had never heard of it and that's insane so, uh, and I know there's a lot of TV out there, but this really is a great show. And if you're just coming across this video for the first time, you're a new subscriber and you haven't watched the show, please watch it. Watch it live tomorrow night. And you might not know what's going on, but you can go ahead to Amazon Prime and uh, go ahead and uh, binge it there. Um, a, with a lot of creatives, um, you know, and I, I get this, I come from the world of comic books. I, I was a comic books pro. I was a self-publisher. I retailed in San Francisco. I was a comic book retailer for 10 years. And uh, the one thing that was kind of surprising to me was how uh, many comic artists and writers don't actively read comics. Um, they might have when they were kids, but while they're working in the industry, they kind of don't have time. And the same is for actors and producers. They don't have time to take in a bunch of shows because they're working on their show. So um, yeah, it, it would behest sci-fi to like let them know what they need to do because i'm sure they'd be happy to save their show uh, it looked like uh cass anvar was a little he, he was a little upset he said he needed a couple days to kind of figure out why a show that gets uh you know has a hundred percent rating on rotten tomatoes that the critics absolutely love that everybody who watches it absolutely love i, I mean i've heard from a couple people like oh, i couldn't get into it but not many uh i've turned on a couple people at work and they're fully into it now um uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, 
uh yeah i i don't know jody i don't know jody's messaging me uh i no i don't think so i don't think he's uh, no i don't think so um sorry to sorry there uh and i will get to the chat in just a second and uh, man i just plopped down from work so forgive me i'm a little wired up uh you know and uh yeah the, the, the banner was amazing so so what we need to do uh tomorrow night between 7 and 9 p.m eastern time we need to get on Twitter, hashtag save the expanse, hashtag the expanse uh, for two hours. And for those of us on the West Coast, uh, that is from uh, four to six. Um, and yeah, we need to be watching this thing live. Uh, we do a recap uh, every week. We'll be on uh, 15 minutes uh, after the East Coast feed. And um, we'll be covering the show and we can talk more about saving the expanse too. We can extend, extend it. We do all of our recaps live. Uh, and if it needs to be a love fest and it needs to be talking more about saving the expanse, that's cool. So we'll be on tomorrow night at 8, 8 15 PM Eastern. Uh, I did, uh, notice Douglas in the live stream said, isn't it ironic that, um, they just nuked the Amazon last week, <laughs> which yeah, Douglas, uh, it was, um, yeah. So, so Cass Anvar, pl please try to, it's on the video was on Facebook and he ran it live. Uh, it was, it's a great video. Um, and he just talks about like how little he, he knew about the, how important, you know, not, not, you know, like, not like he was dumb. He was just busy. Okay. Uh, that he, he didn't know like the live ratings were so important. Um, and honestly I didn't either until I, uh, was uh, our co-host Susan was involved in saving Ash versus evil dead. And she had mentioned it, uh, with stars. Um, and, and you know, it's, it, we're, ch times are changing. So, um, I think a lot of these shows that got cut off, it, it kind of reminds me of the writer's strike. It's like, we're losing good shows. Um, not for real lack of ratings. The expanse was getting good enough ratings to stay, stick around. It definitely was. Um, it, 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 you know, it, it, the overnights weren't great, but after that it, it was, it's the second most, uh, watched show on sci-fi Cass Anvar said, um, and uh, what I notice just on the matrix of our channel, uh, um, when people check out our recaps for The Expanse, our views go way up on the weekend. So uh, we get a lot of views um, for our little channel. We get a lot of views on Wednesday night when it comes out, it kind of dips down for a couple days. And then Saturday, Sunday, um, the interest in our recap video goes, goes up. So just based on that, uh, there's also uh, a little metric that I tweeted um, that shows the interest in um, the books as uh, as far as ratings go on Amazon. And I'll, and I'll show you that real quick. I retweeted it and there it is right there. Um, and I'll get, sorry, I'll get to you guys the chat just a second here. Um, and yeah, so if you look at that, that's, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so this is uh, the, the uh, customer reviews of the, of the Expanse books uh, it, when it's related to the premiere of the show and look at that that is uh insane so uh yeah it that people love the show there's enough people for the show to survive so i hope amazon picks it up but uh time is running out uh i'm gonna check the facebook group real quick here and here we go and you can see that uh uh the wonderful uh, belinda has uh given us an update here update 5 15 18 per cass anvar's live update we must watch live and dvr and watch within three days there is still hope oh that was the biggest thing he said was um there is a chance sci-fi could keep the show if there is a crazy rating surge in the next few weeks so let's try it let's try it um can we all just rally out there and try to make time for this uh and and it does count if you watch it within three days so at, at the very least dvr it and watch it within three days what i'm wondering uh and i hope somebody can answer is if you're watching it on on live on sling or youtube tv which is usually where i watch it because i cut the cord does that even count um because i want to be watching it where it counts so that's that's an answer hopefully somebody in the comments and in the chat We'll get to so briefly i'll get to the chat i can't go too long tonight because we do have a uh we're going to cover legion tonight um and if any updates uh come after that uh, i will be back live on the air so there's our, our good friend cass anvar doing his video he's got some great hair man guy's got some great hair i actually he was uh we did a top 10 uh doctor who's and i actually uh picked him for uh i'd love to see him play doctor 
I think you'd be really good. Uh, that's just me though. So let's stop presenting that. Let's get to the chat. Um, we've got the usual suspects in here. Hello, Jody and Pen Farm Girl and Douglas. Um, uh, well, sci-fi has canceled loads of good shows in the past. The consensus seems to be budget. Since the uh, SFX budget for the expanse alone was probably significant enough for sci-fi to consider cannibalizing. Yeah. And uh, the props and stuff are going to get sold off to Star Trek. According to Doomcock's video, they have delayed that for a day. And I I, th and I think the meeting, if there was a meeting, I, I, there might not have been a meeting. I mean, this is all a rumor. I, I, I have no contact with the, any of the uh, creators and stuff. I've been just watching what's been going on on the Facebook group and people have been private messaging me and me and doomcock have been in a little bit of uh contact when we can um and neither of us know a ton uh but hopefully i'm really hoping that uh that meeting really happened um <laughs> thanks my doctor who tats uh amanda b says your doctor who tats are giving me life i have a seal of rassilon on my the back of my neck hell yeah amanda Woo. um uh mako hi guys uh love uh Love this. I was on Reddit all the uh, all the time and Twitter, but I'm uh, I'm from Europe, so it's all up to you. And we're we're doing our our, our very best. Uh, uh, it was a VFX guy, says Mako. So that was the guy who uh, he actually um, commented on one of my videos and and brought the attention to the group. So uh, I'm sorry I didn't get your name. Whoever you are, you're wonderful. Thanks for letting me know. Um, uh, if Brooklyn 999 could be saved, uh, the expanse should. Yeah, you know, it just tells me uh, that we're just as a species, we're not there yet. When, um, I mean, no disrespect or anything, but when we get, you know, all the CW shows are coming another year and this, we're not going to have this. So uh, Cass Anvar said it, it, uh, that if the ratings go up, there is a possibility that sci-fi will pick it back up and will give Alcon a leverage to uh, will give Al Alcon leverage to negotiate with Amazon or other interested parties. Um, you would hope sci-fi would just pretend to do that to make that happen. Um, I don't know if they they can do that. I don't know. I, I don't know about that stuff. Um, uh, I would I would honestly rather see it on Amazon. But freaking sci-fi! If you pick this show back up, I will watch shows. I, I will cover shows. I promise you. I will cover shows we haven't covered before. I'll pick three and cover them and be a walking commercial. If I will shill my ass off for you, if you, I will, my integrity be damned. Um, not that I had any, uh, I, I will do that. If you pick up the expanse, um, my gosh, uh, but only live. So make a YouTube TV trials, DVR the episode and, uh, see it once live and once DVR, if it counts. Yeah. Totally. And on your free time, go on Amazon Prime and run in, uh, run Expanse in the background or just watch it because it's awesome. Um, you haven't watched the show yet, DJ Bowman. Now's a good time to start. Now's a good time to start. It's not too late. Uh, you, you know what? You can watch this Wednesday and uh, dude, I will. Uh, we can hook up on Discord and I will catch you up. Uh, we can do something. I'll run a live stream just for you to catch you up. <laughs> uh feel a bit helpless <clears throat> being in australia did sign the petition and have been posting hashtags i can uh, share posts on my facebook page that helps david david woolley that that does help um we're all really helpless this is this is dire uh the the it, yeah it's it's got to happen this week it really does um uh it, it it's it's a goddamn good show says tk420 hell yeah uh eric bayer any news uh uh are we just shooting the breeze the uh the news was cass Ambar, i mean nothing super new um the only thing i know was from a doomcock video they delayed the meeting uh there was a meeting uh they did the plane flyover banner today but cass Ambar coming out and saying that uh there is a possibility sci-fi could pick up the show if there's a rating surge so i think that's pretty that was video worthy for me anyway um but uh, I've been at work all day too. So there could have been, I, I was watching it last night and it was just back and forth up and down. Like there's hope and then there isn't hope and then there's hope. So uh, uh, my, uh, my great co-host Susan went, just went through this with Ash vs. Evil Dead. And uh, I was talking to my buddy comics about going through this with Farscape. 
And uh, yeah, sup comics. I was just talking about you. Uh, Amazon should just get the expanse from sci-fi and basically tell the showrunners to take as many cities, seasons as they need to properly tell a story. Yeah, about 10. About 10. Hello, Morks. Um, yeah, let me get back down. Apparently, did everyone sign up for uh, for the thunderclap? They need 500 for it to go off. Uh, it's not there yet. I posted the link uh, on our Facebook page. It says Pen Farm Girl. Okay, uh, and I will I will post that link on the description for this video, uh, and I'll put the petition link. I'll put a link to the Facebook group once this rolls into a video. Uh, I got a couple more minutes here. Uh, Pen Farm Girl shared on the Nerdotic po Podcast group. I'm sure she. I'm sure she did. I'm sure she did. Uh, if someone should contact Neil deGrasse Tyson, I think somebody should. Yes. I, yes, I think so. Anybody with reach. Okay. Um, Papa Bawa, me and Doomcock, the series, <laughs> right? Uh, I did share it there, Jody. So yeah, she, she had pin farm girls on top of it. Both of you guys are, uh, okay. Uh, da -da -da, going down. Oh. Dakota Stanton, thank you so much. Five dollar super chat. Uh, I was at uh, D and D. What's the news? Okay, the news is that uh, there is a glimmer of hope uh, that sci-fi could pick up the series if the ratings surge, um, which I thought was pretty big news because usually that doesn't even matter. Like once they've made the decision, they've made the decision. But that's from Cass Anvar, who plays Alex on the show, and he said the producer said that. So. Um, uh, I am doing very well, Comics Division. I hope you are recovering uh, from that smack in the face you got. And I'm just kidding. Um, I hope you get well, buddy. And uh, I love you, boo. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I uh, Pen Farm Girl. I couldn't save Fa Firefly. I'm not letting this one go without a fight. Hell no, fight on. United by war, I guess. You know that's what the tagline is for this. Uh, uh, yes, David Hill. Je Jeff Bezos is in the space stuff. So is Elon. Um, I should have emailed uh, Elon uh, today. Uh, SpaceX could be a, a, a sponsor uh, for uh, for the Expanse. That'd be pff, fucking awesome, right? So yeah, now that I've completely outed myself by wearing my stupid work shirt. Um, yes, we are still, uh, that is actually happening right now. I'm going to start watching uh, Legion right after this video is over. It is going to be a short one. I do apologize. Uh, please go to the Everything Expanse Facebook group uh, and check everything out there. Uh, I will link the petition. I will relate. Uh, I will link where you can write to Alcon. Um, congrats on uh, uh, the people who got it six thousand dollars together in one day to fly a banner over Amazon. That is epic. That is fucking amazing. Um, uh, no matter what happens, that is, that's, that's his, that's, I, man, I was very impressed. I was very impressed. Really sucks. I had this uh, damn day job or I would have live streamed all damn day to save this show. Okay. Uh, retweet as much as you can. And remember tomorrow night, seven to 9 PM Eastern time. That is four to six Pacific time tweet hashtag save the expanse hashtag the expanse and if you want to throw in hashtag remember the cant for me and doomcock that'd be nice but if not i don't care um uh yeah it's a job it's a good job too it's a rad job um but uh it, this is a great show and i want to save it and i don't mind taking a few minutes out of my time it's really nothing um and i love talking to you guys and again no matter what happens james s a Corey, the crew cass anvar thanks for doing a video today and uh, Dominique Tipper and Wes Chathman, Stephen Strait, you guys fucking rock. Uh, Tom Jane, I bow to your greatness and hopefully we will have an expanse. Hopefully in the next 24 hours, I'll be shooting a video saying the expanse is saved and we can have a big fucking party. All right, so everybody, uh, if you like the show Legion, we'll be recapping it in about an hour. Please tune in. If not, and you're just about the expanse, 8.15 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow night. We'll do a live recap after the show. And I hope to see you all there. And uh, yeah, Expanse fans, you guys are the best. You really are. We're really some of the most passionate fans I've ever seen. I'm glad to be part of this community. So good night, everybody. See you soon.